Before we go further or farther, I want to explain to you how the whole thing came to pass. It goes like this. Once, upon no time at all, before the beginning, Suddenly, and without warning, love became itself with a pucker and a pop. And love looked all around and seeing the great empty of emptiness, the void, the non-place, decided to fill it up with stuff. But first, love had to let there be light. So love turned it all on. And in so doing, spewed forth great gaseous waves that took the forms of clouds, that took the form of small bodies that spun as love had the great idea of rotation and time. And spinning these things around like this, these little elemental bits that attracted other stuff, stars were born, constellations and galaxies, Planetary bodies, satellites and moons, shooting stars and things that went all throughout the emptiness of space. And the universe itself came into being and was so excited it went, wow! It came back upside down, mom! We had the great mom and pop of creation happening then. We could say then because time itself existed. Spinning round and round. Mom was in charge of the life forms on the little planetary bodies like the Earth. In the seas, the little things swam around and the fish ate them. The larger fish came along and they ate them. In the skies, the birds and the bees and the things were buzzing and flying. They were dive bombing and catching each other and eating stuff. They were even eating stuff in the sea. On the land, the trees were growing. The grasses had come up. The plants and the animals were happy. They were jumping about. And, and people, people were born into a state of love. And then people got creative. They created there's not enough. Give me that. That's mine. They created greed and fear. They created money yeah. and other religions. <laughs> so creative. Imagine we created money. Why? We created it so there'd be something that we wouldn't have enough of. <laughs> In total contradiction to the existence of all things. What an exciting concept. And so the family of humanity, humanity, you like that? Humanity, man unity. We forgot that one too. Humanity, man unity. Imagine if you took a word like unite and you screw it up just by moving one letter, you get untie. Isn't that so? So here you've got this whole, and everything's pumping and humming, but we forgot. Now here we are back in our ship cruising through space. Endlessly. Think about it for a moment. If we took this room and we emptied it of all the stuff that was in it, and we blew it up a thousand times and we said, this represents the universe as we know it, the trillions of light years of distance from one end to another, this is it. And we said, we've got a magic marker that can make real small dots in the fabric of space and time. <laughs> but we, we, we come over and we go, and we can't make a dot small enough to represent our solar system or even our planet. Folks, we're traveling on cosmic lint. <laughs> and you may have also wondered how it was possible that our Earth could be suspended in nothing, in the middle of space, so perfectly just operating and turning. You might have also asked yourself, what's outside of space? How can there be nothing? How far does it go? And maybe, like me, you'd wake up in the middle of the night and these questions would kind of drive you crazy. Your mind could only go so far and it would go around in a circle. And you wanted to know what it was all about and what it was made out of. You wanted to know what the fabric of the whole thing was. So, you might say that love is like water in the stream and you are the cup gets filled up when you're empty and in need it's always there just like the air it follows you to sleep it's so well known it can't be owned 
but it's all that you can keep. Love has the greatest power as it moves the rolling seas. Oh, it forms the notes in bluebirds' throats. It's there when you say please. It's not just mine or only yours, but it's here for everyone. Sometimes it's hidden by our fears, like clouds can hide the sun. And oh, when you're suffering and hope has packed its bags, you're an infant needing mother in your dirty window, needing rags. Then out of nowhere, so it seems, some love gets in your way. You don't have the strength to throw it out, so it makes a place to stay. Where were you when I needed you? You will ask and love will say. Oh, I do believe in you. I never went away.